All right. Inaugural episode of the Mike and Danny show. That's Mike Cox. I'm Danny Caputo. Right now, it is... That time can't be right. 12.27. It is 12.20 on a Friday morning. We just got done watching the 2016 NCAA tournament. First half of the Sweet 16. First half. A good half. Yes, it was. Some games we thought were going to be good weren't necessarily that good. Uh, Miami. My squad. Outed. Outed. By the Villanova Wildcats from Philadelphia. Uh, We have the uh, Oklahoma Sooners winning a pretty not good game against the Texas A&M Aggies. Advancing to the Elite Eight. He was sour because his bracket kind of hurt right now. Bracket is over. My bracket is done. But I bet a fat and not smart man uh, at my work. Who called me out for the bet. Side bets aside from the brackets. Which obviously I knew my bracket. So I had already known what my outs were going to be. And he bet me on all the outs basically. So if I bet him, I was going to win money. If I didn't bet him... Then all my hopes were on the bracket. So I bet the man. I came out on top. My bracket's free. Anyway. Kansas beat Maryland. And we had Oregon over Duke. So we had, at this point, we had six ACC teams in the Sweet 16. We are now down to four. We have four games tomorrow night, which is Friday. A lot of people, Mike, were saying that the ACC was the best basketball conference in America. What do you think about that? I think, uh, say that again? ACC. Best basketball we conference in America? one of the best conferences in America. Is it the best, though? Is it number one? I would say, as tonight has shown, we can get in pretty deep. But we might not be able to get in deep enough. We still have another half of the Sweet 16 to go tomorrow. Right, right. And I'm hoping Carolina and Virginia can stand the test of time of what's about to go down. Because as we can see right now, these teams are looking a little bigger Mm -hmm. and stronger. I agree. Than the ACC teams. That's that's just what I'm seeing so far. Agreed with you on that. I feel like... You're completely right in that the top-level teams and other conferences have, they've clearly shown they have more talent and equal coaching than the mid-tier teams in the ACC. However, the top two teams all year in the ACC, it was, I mean, I love Miami. That's my team. But I would never, I wouldn't all year have considered them one of the top two best teams. It was hands down Virginia and Carolina all year. So we still have those teams left. Yes. So I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to take a quick break and be right back.